Are you a storyteller? Do you tell oral stories to audiences? If you're a speaker, you probably do. Realising, of course, that the story is probably the most effective, emotional moving part of your speech. And it's from the story, the emotions aroused, that decisions are made in the minds and hearts of the listener. Chances are that over the years you've watched a lot of good movies. How do good movies start? The opening scene is very, very important and often starts with some theme music. You probably can't do that with oral storytelling. In most instances, no music. I'm not saying it can't be done and hasn't been done, but generally it isn't done. Remember that film, The Bridge on the River Kwai? Most people have seen it down the years. How does it start off? A jungle scene from the air. And then all the animal baby, all the animal noises, the howler monkeys, the birds twittering, etc. And then faintly, the sound of singing coming through the jungle as the prisoners gradually move into view. Now this sets the scene. You know it's in the tropics, you know it's in the jungle, and you know it concerns prisoners of war. All done before any dialogue or words are spoken. In an oral story, just that one sentence, that first sentence, can make all the difference as to whether or not your audience will be grabbed or not. Now in that one sentence that you say, you have to say it slowly enough, with enough pauses for the audience to be able to visualise what the setting is. Sometimes it can be very abstract and the people in the audience will all be seeing different things, feeling different things, because we're all individuals. But basically it will be the same message. For example, in my story, The Bigot, I start off like this. There was once a farmer who lived alone by a great river. Just that. You can visualise the farmer, he can be any age, the fact that he lives alone seems to infer that his family have left him, that he's an older man, and the river is a great river, not a flowing stream, but a massive, big, slow-moving stream. All of these things spring to mind just from that one sentence. Another presentation I give is, is this. It's called The Sealers. Long story. I say, way down south, below the roaring forties, in that belt of latitudes known as the furious fifties, where the wind howls out of the southwest, across 10,000 miles of pack ice, there is an island. Get the drift? Get what I mean? That one sentence, that opening sentence, so, so important. And you can also leave them intrigued with that first sentence. For example, in my long story, The Sixty Miles, which is about coal ships and the sinking of one coal ship in particular, I start off this way. They brought the blue metal from Shell Harbour to build the Sydney Railways. See what I mean? And then the next sentence follows along the same lines. And then the third sentence, all putting together what these ships did without giving away that it's about ships. So an audience thinks, what's going to come next? Why is he telling me this? This is the way to deliver the opening sentence of a story. 
any story orally told to an audience. Give them the outline, give them the visualisation, give them a feel, the feelings that they create. Then give them the story. And as we know, our stories progress. But the opening, the opening line, not lines, just the opening line, the opening sentence, so, so important. Bear that in mind when next you present a story orally to an audience.